Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I'm a photographer and videographer based in North Wales. Very, very quick video today, just to show you how you can save a ton of space if you're a Final Cut Pro editor. Let's jump into the computer. So this is a little tip for completed Final Cut libraries. This is once you've delivered the video to a client or you've published it online, wherever you want to put it, once you're just storing that library, this is where this will really come in. So I store all of my finished libraries between two hard drives. I've got the 8TB C drive and the 10TB G drive. So let's go into the Final Cut Pro 10 folder. Each of them are identical, they're backed up. So I'll just show you with one. So in the 2020 folder, I've got the done folder. This is all of my completed projects for 2020, and this is just for YouTube. Okay, so let's see how big this 2020 folder is right now. That is saying 2.2 terabytes. Now, let's go in here. These are still active, so let's just do the done folder. And that is saying 2.01 terabytes. So still, that's a lot of space. So what we're going to do to try and save ourselves some space is we can just simply open up a library. This is from my previous video about Peak Design accessories. Now all we're going to do is click on the library itself rather than any of the events. And then we'll go to File, Delete Generated Library Files. Now this is going to ask us what we want to delete. So we're going to select delete render files and we're going to select all and then if you use either optimized or proxy media we also have the options there to delete all those so I myself I usually make optimized media because I shoot in 4k s-log2 so it just makes it a lot easier to work with and then just recently I have also been using proxy media because now and then I will use file cut pro on the Mac mini in my bedroom so we will select all of those hit OK and just before we do that over here we can see in the library settings that it actually tells us how big the library is at the moment so at the moment it's 38.4 gigabytes let's click OK and we'll see that shrink down to 45.2 megabytes that is a huge saving already so if you want to go back and reuse this library, do a quick little change around on it. All you'd have to do is come back into the library, go back into your project. You can see already in the top that is starting to render again. And you just have to relink the files as well, which is very simple. You just click on the file that you want to relink, go to file, relink files, and then you literally just search for that file wherever you kept it okay so for now we're just going to right click and close the library and then we're just going to repeat that process for all of our libraries until we're finished and then we'll see how much space we've actually saved ourselves okay guys so i've just finished doing that with all of these these are all my 2020 youtube videos so far now let's see how big this folder is now that we've done that, remember it was 2.19 terabytes. It's now 4.3 gigabytes. That is a huge saving of space. So yeah, I'm going to do that with my other hard drive as well. And then I should have plenty of free space for the rest of the year. So there we go, guys. Very simple video, very simple technique. I wish that I'd known about this sooner. I could have saved so much space and money on hard drives, but... There we go, now I know. Hope this was helpful for you. Um, if it was, please do consider giving a like and hitting subscribe as well down below. If you've got any questions at all, please do leave a comment down below. And I also turn 30 this week, so if you'd like to give back to the channel at all, I've got affiliate links down below. If you use any of those links, it'll cost you nothing extra at all, and it all goes to helping this channel. So yeah, until next time, be good, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.